Namaste, beautiful mamas out there. This is a yoga class for back and shoulders. It's suitable for any one of you. Uh, I'm in my third trimester, so actually uh, mothers at any stage of their pregnancy are welcome to join. Uh, if you have some props that surely useful for your prenatal class, maybe one or two blocks, uh, a bolster or a pillow and a blanket. So grab your mat and I'll meet you there. So ready to work on our back and shoulders. Uh, if you have a block or you prefer, you can use also a blanket. I would recommend that you place it under your uh, sitting bones, especially if you're at a later stage of your trimester. This helps you open your hips and make a lot of space for your belly. We'll start with a short pranayama. We can slowly close the eyes and center our attention towards our body. You can bring one hand over your chest and one over your wonderful belly. Start breathing naturally. Do not force your breath. Check your position. Your spine should be out straight but relaxed. Shoulders over the hips neck relaxed. Follow the natural rhythm of your breath. In and out from your chest, from your belly. And we'll slowly start deepening our breath. We inhale as much as we can without straining and deeply exhale. The warm air comes into the nostrils, slowly moves down through the chest towards the belly and on the exhalation the warm air goes out. The fresh air comes into the nostrils moves down through the chest towards the belly and on the exhalation the belly and the chest slowly empty and the warm air goes out from the nostrils. Keep your awareness tight to your breath. This short exercise helps us to concentrate on our body on our inner feelings to close the world out. Maybe if you are in a later stage in your pregnancy, you might also feel your baby moving. Welcome him or her into your practice. Use it as a point of concentration. Feel your baby, keep your attention attached to your baby.
you can make an intention for your practice within yourself. My intention for this class today is to relieve a bit of stress and pain from our back, from our shoulder. To try to make you feel good in your body. And to leave you stronger than before, confident that you can go through this pregnancy in health and happiness. Slowly release your hands down to your knees. Come back to normal breathing. And you can slowly open your eyes and come back to the room. We'll start moving and of course we start from the shoulders so as you inhale you can open your arms to the side extend them close your shoulder blades take a nice chest opener and exhale draw slightly back hug yourself Hug yourself from the front with your hands. Try to reach your shoulder blades on the back. And as you inhale, move out and open to the world again. Exhale, we move back into a hug. Try to have the opposite arm above this time. Hug your chest and shoulders. Inhale, open. And exhale, hug. Inhale, open. And exhale, close your arms around you. You can make a little movement with your chest forward and back. And one last round. On the next inhalation, keep your hands as they are and lift them into eagle posture. We give a nice starting stretch to our shoulders. Doesn't matter which elbow is below. Exhale, release, open, inhaling and exhale, hug yourself again with the opposite arm above and we lift arms into eagle posture. Exhale, release. Shake your shoulders for a couple of times towards the back and towards the front. Shake your shoulders. And again, we inhale, lifting the arms up. This time, as we exhale, we move towards the right side, reach the floor with the right hand and bend from the side. You should feel the stretch into your uh, left ribs. If this posture is too deep for you, you can easily grab a block or elevate yourself with a blanket. Or if you feel comfortable, you can also reach the floor with your forearm. This is easier if you are earlier in your pregnancy, if you still have space in your upper body to bend. 
inhale lift to the center and we move to the other side exhale towards the left side left arm on the floor center and exhale release and relax we will move into all fours so if you have any block or a prop under your hips put it aside and shift your position to martariasana your knees should be aligned with your wrists and we will start twisting a bit and moving the spine on the inhalation we press the right hand down and lift the left arm up exhale gently thread your left arm through your right side if you have a bigger belly it's enough to just really thread and slightly twist with your chest with your upper spine with your thoracic spine don't go too deep into the twist if you're earlier in your pregnancy you're welcome to uh, reach the stage that your body allows and again we lift up and exhaling we reach the floor with the uh, with the shoulder maybe widen a bit your legs so you can come to the floor and extend the right arm forward stay here if laying down is not comfortable for you you can simply stay up into a gentle twist if you want to Deepen a bit the posture, you can also reach your lower back with your right arm. Listen to your body, feel your belly and if it's too much, just take a step back. And we move our right arm back and lift the body up one more time we lift the left arm up towards the ceiling and exhale release it down we shift to the right side inhaling we lift the right arm up and exhaling we thread the needle through the left side inhale lift and exhale thread it through One more time we lift, exhaling we move the shoulder towards the ground, widening the legs, making space for the belly and rest here. It's a very deep shoulder stretch. If you did it on the other side you might also want to bring your left hand on your lower back. and we come back with the arm pressing down on the mat to lift up open one more time with the right arm towards the ceiling and release we go for a moment into balasana wild leg child's pose don't come too deep and don't relax too much as we are going for a dynamic um, flow we move forward as if we want to go into a plank or go for a chaturanga of course we are not gonna do it just engage a bit your triceps and biceps and move again back into balasana or oh, feel the stretch in your shoulders in a move forward and back 
exhale when you close your body and inhale as you expand forward two more times And next time we are on the back. If you need, just stay in Balasana for a moment. Otherwise, tuck your toes under and lift your hips for downward facing dog. You might need to keep your legs a little wider than usual. And if you want, you can lift your heels up and down to shake a bit your hips, to awaken, awaken a bit your legs. Press your shoulders down, really push away the floor in front of you. If you feel dizzy, just look towards your hands. And we slowly walk forward towards Uttanasana. One-legged Uttanasana for me. You decide how much space you need for your belly. Stay here for a moment, really relax. Feel your shoulders heavy under gravity. And inhaling, we bend the knees, lift our belly from below and lift up really slowly. Inhale, take a nice stand. Exhale, hands towards your heart. Inhale again, arms up. And as you exhale, take a small squat and reach your knees with your hands. We're gonna move for some cat and cow movements with our back into this chair posture. So as you inhale, lift your chest, lift your chin up, lift a bit your sitting bones without exaggerating and exhale, curl down, press your hands into your knees and curl your back towards the back inhale lift up exhale curl and tuck your chin to your chest inhale roll your shoulder, shoulders back and exhale two times more inhale Exhale into this variation of cat pose and inhale into cow and exhale into cat. Maybe your quads are burning a little, lift yourself up gently. We inhale, lifting arms one more time and exhale, we draw our upper body down. On the next inhalation, we bring the arms towards the back, towards our lower back. Interlace your fingers and press them up. Really close your shoulder blades together. Lift the arms up. And enjoy this chest opener. You can also swing from side to side. Actually, it's more uh, suitable for who is in second or first trimester but you can do so really gently even if you're closer to the due date exhale release your arms Bend your knees, lift your belly from below and slowly lift up, unrolling your spine. Lift your arms up and exhale, hands to your chest. We are in Tadasana. You can also close your legs if you prefer. And we are going for a few rounds of palm tree pose. I'm gonna move 
towards the camera inhale lift arms up and you can interlace your fingers push the palms towards the ceiling you can stay with your uh, heels lifted or if this is not your balance day you can simply drop down your heels to the ground inhale lift and as you exhale we drop the upper body towards the right side just a gentle stretch into your left side inhale to the center and exhale towards the left inhale center and exhale bend to the right let's keep going you can go with the flow of your breath inhale to the center and lift exhale lower to the right inhale center and exhale lower left next time we are to the center we just stretch out our body as much as we can and exhaling we release one more time we lift the arms up on the inhalation and at the exhalation we lower our upper body down for tadasana heel and to your feet towards the outside to make space for your new body and on the inhalation we lift halfway up into Ardha Uttanasana exhale soften your knees soften your upper body and come down two times more inhale press towards your shins pull your kneecaps to the back your back should be straight and exhaling we release the whole body last time we lift halfway up and exhale we lower we move to the back with our right leg stay into a high lunge you always have the option of taking a lower version of the posture maybe bringing your back knee to the ground otherwise keep your toes tucked under stay up and lift into a lunge exhale here inhale take a small back bend and on the exhalation go towards the back opening your arms into cactus shape press your back heel towards the ground inhale into this posture and on the exhalation we move forward into a higher variation of the runner's lunge inhale towards the back open your chest close your shoulder blades and exhale forward your front knee shouldn't move shouldn't go um, over your ankle the back leg is there for balance the front quad is strong and keeping you up in it towards the back during pregnancy try to take a shorter stand between your legs even if you're an experienced yogini this helps you to not overstretch and move your arms to the ground press back into downward facing dog We walk forward again into Uttanasana, wide leg, and slowly lift up, bend your knees, lift your belly from below, arms towards the ceiling, and into prayer. One more round, we inhale up, exhale lower into uttanasana this time the left leg goes to the back and we land into a lounge here as before you have the option of bringing the back knee on the ground and lift up into high or low lunge 
your choice. Actually, it's your body's choice. Feel your body and check how you feel. Open your arms into cactus shape. Close your shoulder blades. Inhale into this posture. Exhale, move forward. And flow with your breath. Inhale, back. Exhale, forward. You can move down into the runner's lunge according to the space you have. If you have a bigger belly, you might stay up like me and exhale. Bring your hands down and this time move your legs forward for Uttanasana. Inhaling, we roll up vertebra by vertebra and roll the shoulders towards the back. Lift your arms up. Stay here. Close your legs and we are going to move into uh, a standing Shiva posture. Bring your left leg on the right side, crossing your right leg. We bend the whole body towards the left. Grab your left wrist with your right arm and enjoy the side stretch. I'm gonna move towards the camera to show you the posture from the front. Your hip move to the left and we bend completely arching our body towards the right side. Inhale, lift to the center and we change side. Exhale, bring back your feet down your arms and as we inhale we move the arms up cross the right leg behind the left grab the right wrist with the left arm and bend towards the left side Inhale, we come back to the center and release the whole body. <sighs> Lift your arms up one more time. Inhaling and on the exhalation, bend your knees, widen your stand and land into Uttanasana. We are going to walk back for downward facing dog. We slowly release the knees towards the ground and you can stay for a few breaths into child pose if you like. Activate your fingers, bring your hands closer to your shoulders, press up and we meet in all fours. From this posture, we are going to move into some cat and cow moment to loosen the spine one more time. Inhale, press your belly down, lift your chin up, look forward and up towards you uh, in front of you, and exhale, round your back. In and press and lift and exhale, curl towards the ceiling. On the next inhalation, release into neutral position. Uh, keep your right hand well planted on the floor as we are gonna extend the left leg and extend the left arm rotate your left arm open your chest we lift the left arm towards the ceiling and rotate your 
right leg perpendicular to the longer side of the mat so you're stable to lift your left leg up and grab it with your left arm press back we open completely our front body close the back inhale and exhale if you don't like this posture or if you don't feel balanced you can keep your leg down and your arm open above your head this is an alternative for you exhale we all open leg and arm release the hand on the ground shift your hips again and come back into all fours we move on the other side so plant your left side now extend your right leg extend your right arm and open towards the right side lift your arm up rotate your uh, left knee and prepare to grab your right leg Again, release, extend both leg and arm and come back to the ground. Rotate your body and we land or into all fours one more time. We will move back into Vairasana. I like to use a block under my sitting bones, so I prepare it here and move my hips towards the back. You can also sit on your feet if you like, on your heels like this. Or if you choose to elevate yourself as I did, just use a block or maybe a blanket uh, between your thigh and your calf to elevate your posture. Stay here for a moment, close your eyes. Come back to your breathing. Calm down your heartbeat. slowly open your eyes again we move into sitting position you can keep your block or your blanket to elevate yourself as we did in the beginning keep your left leg open and bend your right leg to the side orient more or less 45 degrees out of the body and we stay here for an open twist engage your right knee with your left with your right elbow sorry and open gently towards the left just your thoracic spine just the upper part of your body your belly stays centered and soft Exhale, release to the center. Bend your left leg now and bring your right knee over the left into Gomukhasana. If you do it with a block or a support under your hips, this helps you to make some space for your belly. If this posture is still not available for you, you can also go into fire log pose. So your chin is parallel to the long side of the mat and you bring your opposite uh, foot over the knee and the other knee over the opposite foot. This is also an option for this posture. If you are in Gomukhasana with me, 
stay here for one breath, one complete breath. And we are going to lift the left arm up, bending on the back of our head, and we reach the left arm with the right from below. I'm gonna show you the posture on the back. This is the position of the arms. If you are not able to reach your fingers, you can simply stay here or just grab a strap or a scarf to help you uh, to stay connected with your two hands. Exhale, release. We change side, extend the right leg outward and bend the left. Uh, leg. We are going for the side twist, so engage your left knee with your elbow and gently twist towards the right side this time. We now bend the right leg under and the left knee comes above the right. You always have the option for the fire log or just simply go into a cross leg position that's comfortable for you. We now lift the right arm up and bend it behind our back. Reach the hand with your left arm. If you are into an earlier stage of your pregnancy and you still have a lot of space in your belly, you can also drop your upper body down, eventually even to touch the knee with your forehead. That's clearly not available for me at the moment. And every mama in their third trimester, just stay up. Engage your arms, feel the stretch into your triceps and enjoy the chest open. Inhale, release your arms and release your legs. We can remove the prop under the hips and sit down on the mat. Keep your block closer if you have one because that's gonna help in our next posture. We go into Janushirshasana. Your right leg is bent with your uh, heel onto your inner left thigh. We place the block in front of our left knee as we are gonna use it for support. We inhale, lift the arms up and release your hands, interlacing the fingers behind your head. We rotate the chest towards the right side and lean on the side towards the left until you reach with your elbow the block for support. If you don't have a block to use it, you can simply drop just a little your arms to the side or even simply use uh, just the right arm behind your head and release the left on your leg. So any variation and possibility you have, it's fine. Inhale, come back to the center and we change side. So extend the right leg now, move your block and bend your left leg. We inhale, lift arms up, bring them behind our back, twist the torso towards the left side and release to the right.
in a leaf and center one more time remove the block away open both legs not so wide but as much as you need to accommodate your belly and we lean forward for Paschimottanasana so adjust the distance between your legs you don't need to go so much down if this is not comfortable for you you can reach your shins or your feet and help yourself with your hands to calm down If you have space, of course, you can go for a traditional Paschimottanasana with the closed legs in front of you. Inhale, slowly release and roll up. We will move on the ground, so bend uh, your legs to the side and pay attention to come down from your side and not from your back. Do not engage your abdominal muscles too much. Once you're down, we will move towards a twist. You can open your right leg to the side, bring your ankle over your left knee. And in this position, we are going to drop the legs down. So your right leg pushes down your left knee. And we gently twist towards the right side. If you wish, you can also use a block under your right knee to elevate it and to not go too deep into the twist, which might feel not comfortable for you at the moment. If you like, you can also add your left arm, bringing it over your head, pressing the palm down. This helps you to engage your left side into the stretch. If you don't like to have the left arm extended above you can simply keep your uh, arms into t-shape and look towards your left shoulder inhale come back to the center release both knees and change sides so cross the left ankle over the right knee this time and supporting yourself with the block if you uh, like it you can drop the leg the legs towards the left side and eventually raise your right arm above your head placing the palm facing down Exhaling, release your legs to the center and draw both feet down. We are gonna go for a last chest opener. You can move your block or a cushion if you have one under your shoulders. It should be right on your shoulder blades, on the tip of your shoulder blades. And you can extend your legs if you like staying here for a moment feeling the pressure of the block onto your shoulders and your chest openings under opening under gravity
you can experiment with the position of your arms you can keep them in T shape if you like you can also drop them above your head this helps you to feel even more the stretch into your chest and into your shoulders just check that this isn't too uh, stressful for your belly keep your belly relaxed If you don't have the block, just simply uh, roll your blanket, fold your blanket in a thicker shape and use it to elevate your shoulders. Release your shoulders, your arms come on the ground from the side and we prepare ourselves for Shavasana. For Shavasana today, I would like you to use the bolster to keep opening a bit your chest. You can also use the blocks if you have them to elevate the bolster as the supine position might not feel so good for all of you as the gravity pushes against your baby and she or he might complain. If you have the blocks, that's great. You can elevate your bolster like this and use it to keep a tilted supine position. If your body allows, you can go into a traditional Shavasana posture or simply place the pillow or all the post or the bolster under your back. Or if you are in your third trimester and this posture doesn't work for you, simply go on your left side. Keep your legs completely relaxed, arms on the ground with palms facing up. Stay conscious by following your breath. Do not influence your breath, let it flow smoothly and naturally in and out. Feel your body heavy towards the pillow, towards the bolster or towards the ground. Try to scan your body from the tip of your toes releasing any tension in your body parts. Feel the parts that are touching the floor melting with the ground. Feel your shoulders relaxed, your chest soft, your belly soft as much as you can. And relax your face muscles, soften your lips, your jaws, soften your cheeks, your forehead, your eyelids, feel the tongue in your mouth, soft and relaxed. And enjoy these moments with your body. Embrace the changes that you're going through. Maybe you feel more tired than before after the practice. Just think that your energy is going to your baby and feel happy about these changes.
You're welcome to stay in Shavasana as long as you like and as long as your body needs for today. I thank you for your presence and I have been honored to guide you through this practice. Namaste.